on the Sutton subject, look, I, I kind of trailed off when I was trying to answer that earlier, but the last thing we heard is, uh, was it NFL.com? I think it was NFL.com. Sometimes this late in the offseason, guys, I, I start getting a little cross-eyed trying to remember which national site aggregated uh, a piece of news, but wasn't exactly news. It was just further confirmation that Cortland Sutton has not, quote, ruled out a holdout from training camp. So, you know, the first thing to keep in mind on this, Deanna, is that he is under contract this year and he is under contract next year. So he's got two years left on his on his deal counting this season. He's asking for about $3 million more per year by way of a raise. And I think you could even, if you're the Broncos, you could even actually maybe give him half of that in a raise as long as you guaranteed more of his contract, what's left. You know, his contract, I think it's a $13 million salary off the top of my head this year, something like $2 million of it guaranteed. So give him some assurances, show him some love that way. But at the end of the day, I mean, $3 million additional, just give it to him, make him happy. You're going to go with Bo Nix sooner than later anyway. You want him to have at least one just stud guy on the outside, and that's Cortland Sutton. I do believe that will get handled, um, if not before training camp, early, early onset of training camp. And, you know, unfortunately, that's just – it's the only leverage veterans have in the league is their presence. You know, you want me to show up? then come to the negotiating table. Uh, if I'm unhappy, you're going to have to come to the negotiating table and with the NFL. All things like this are dictated by deadlines when the rubber meets the road. And for the Broncos, that is July 26th. So if he's not there, first of all, if he doesn't report on July 23rd, the holdout has begun. That's mandatory. 